Hey Sages, welcome to July 2018. I hope you guys are doing well. So already as soon as I got into the zone, two cards popped out. Support when it comes to family and friends and then also feeling really pinned down. So either you feel like you're not getting the proper support from your family and friends and that thinking and those thoughts that you're having are really weighing on you and really, uh, sorry, and <laughs> really pushing you down. Um, or you feel like you can't connect with your family and friends because you're so bogged down with your thoughts and what's been going on. So keep in mind, Jupiter just went direct, so that's good. It definitely released some tension for the Sagittarius because you guys are ruled by the planet Jupiter. Um, that will start to feel a little bit better shortly. Like give it a give it a month or two to really get rid of that energy. Um, because Jupiter going direct when it was retrograde, it's just an easier way for you guys to express your optimism and your creativity. So maybe that's what's going on. Maybe you finally have that weight lifted off your shoulders and family and friends are still kind of, you know, acting the way that they were acting before when Jupiter was still retrograde. And now you're trying to free yourself from those chains, essentially. Keep in mind, it's just your thoughts, right? It's just how you're perceiving the situation. So let's see, what do the Sages need to know for July 2018? Okay. Okay. So the theme of this reading, Sag, for July 2018 is about the Queen of Pentacles. So this is an earth sign. She feels like the matriarch. She feels like the head of the household, the head of some sort of situation. And that's because of her power. That's really what it comes down to. She was given, she was fed so much power throughout your life and your relationship with her and throughout her life that now she's kind of taken on another form. And even she's a little bit intimidated with her own power and the influence that she has on others. So this Queen of Pentacles is the theme of the reading, probably the, the person that you really want the most support from, even if your uh, subconscious hasn't recognized it. Um, when you do receive her support, when it comes to your happiness involving a relationship, as usual, that seems to be the theme for the Sages, is just trying to be in this relationship and family just getting in the way, even if you're not aware of it, even if you're saying, okay, I have to take care of my family and that's why I haven't dated, I have to take care of my family and that's why I can't focus on a relationship, at the end of the day, whether or not you put those excuses or those parameters on it, at the end of the day, it is your family that is blocking that relationship, but you're also allowing it. So marriage is something heavily on your mind, common law relationship, um, just being committed to someone, just being kind of bound to them in some way. Um, and the Queen of Swords is also here, so an air sign. Then we have King of Pentacles, so a male, masculine earth sign as well. Uh, the foundation being really messed up, wanting to move on from something, but still so focused on what has happened and where your emotions are in the past, but you actually have a lot of opportunities to grow and to succeed and to move forward. So that's the theme of the reading. The theme of the reading, essentially Sagittarius for July 2018, is feeling very pinned down by your support system, especially this Queen of Pentacles. You want to just be happy with your partner, but based on some marriage or commitment or common law relationship that you're bound to, especially when it comes to the Queen of Swords and the King of Pentacles, your foundation is very rocky. You want to move on. You have to move on. You have to build a bridge and get over it. Um, and that's the only way to bring in more opportunities and more energy and essentially more power, especially because the Queen of Pentacles is streamlining a lot of your power out. So by moving on emotionally and building that bridge and saying, I'm, I'm making this change, you will start to gain back a lot more power and it'll happen very fast and it'll happen a lot. Like you'll, you'll notice the shift and so will the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. So the situation at hand, what this reading is about is about the King of Wands. So this could absolutely be you because it is a fire sign or if you know another Leo or Aries, but essentially this is masculine energy. So who knows, maybe you are a female Sag, but you know that you need to tap into your masculine energy. So masculine energy, all about strength, perseverance, you know, that alpha maleism, um, domineering, control, but in a, in a positive way, you know, not necessarily being controlling, but having control of yourself and having control of your emotions and your thoughts and your words and your actions. Um, this energy is all about listening to your heart and not listening to other people chatting in your ear. This um, card also represents 
the outside people talking in your ear as a way to deflate your ego, as a way to say, to put you down a peg. But Sag, don't let them, especially with Jupiter going direct. You have all this energy to say, no, I'm bigger than this. I'm expansive. I don't need to listen to you. My ego is great. I feel confident. I don't need to measure up to you. Um, things along that aspect. Don't bleed out by giving. Don't over give so much that you're literally slitting your wrist just to feed other people your blood, essentially. So this is the situation at hand. The obstacle and the aid to this energy, Sag, is Page of Wands. So a new message coming in. Either a new message when it comes to some new endeavor, some new opportunity. Um, but these messages are going to come in hard and they're going to come in fast. Um, I'm seeing a seven or is that a Z? I'm also seeing a question mark and a six. So some question coming in um, around the 6th, the 7th, or the 16th, the 17th, or something with a 7 in the date. Um, could just be July, essentially, right? Um, but there's going to be some question that's being asked of you. A message that comes in, some question being asked of you, um, that's going to hinder and help you getting to this place of masculine energy, control, power, authority. So that message, in that message, the question is going to be very independent on how you're feeling. If you're feeling like this or if you're feeling like this. So before you answer any questions, any messages that come in, before you answer any questions, you want to envision this card. Envision yourself embodying this energy, the King of Wands energy, no matter no matter who you are, no matter what you look like, no matter what your sex is, your gender, your, your race, anything, no matter who you are, as soon as you get this message that comes in that is asking a question, a very important question, embody this energy before you answer, okay? Because you're going to need a lot of strength, and the person is going to be able to tell your answer based on the energy. I know these days, you know, with, with text messages and emails, it's so hard to gauge how people are um, responding and how they're actually trying to portray their and um, relay their message. And a lot of the times we'll read it from the place that we're at, but at the end of the day, if you're embodying this energy, if you're putting that intention out, attaching it to the message, it will be received how you want it to be received, which is from this place. <laughs> okay, so subconsciously, Sag, your reputation has been on the line. So really focus on how you're perceived by others. Um, essentially, your reputation, how you feel about yourself and how you feel about other people feeling you. So that's subconscious. I think that you've been pacifying a lot of your ego recently. I think that because of that, uh, the Jupiter retrograde, you've gone a lot more inward instead of outward. I think that you've been pacifying a lot of your needs um, because you feel like they're based on an egotistical Sagittarius. But there's got to be balance, right? There's always give and take. You have Sag days where you do your own thing and you don't ask for anything and you feel great. And then you have Saj days where you kind of are reliant on other people and you need to ask for help and you don't feel as expansive as, expansive as you usually do. So this is what's going on beneath the surface is trying to find that, that sweet spot between uh, independence and also asking and needing help and, and needing comfort and affection and, and people and not being so off on your own. So that balance is going to come and help this King of Wands energy that you're trying to embody this month. You're thinking about the Queen of Cups, thinking about somebody else, thinking about this lovely person who, of course, you adore. Um, they're on the hot seat right now. They're really kind of on the hot seat. I don't know if it's based on judgment, based on, you know, either them judging you or you judging them, but they're kind of at a place where they need to absolve their sins. They need to really cleanse themselves because beneath the surface, this Queen of Cups has a lot of depth and a lot of intensity that they really need to cleanse themselves. They need to dive deep into their own self and clear a lot of trauma and inner child issues. Um, because right now, I don't know if they're about to have kids, they're wanting to have kids, they're having trouble having kids, but that is directly related to their uh, subconscious trauma and their childhood issues. Once that's cleared, everything else when it comes to family forming and family bonding will start to ease up. So Queen of Cups is who you're thinking about. Something has absolutely been missing in your life, in your home and family, and that's why you're like, I need to make this shift 
to king of wands, someone who is empowered, someone who has it, you know, not, not being a knight, being a king. Because <laughs> you right now are very worried about these changes. You're worried about losing your power. You're worried about, you know, not being relevant. You're worried about not being seen, not being heard, people not noticing you. Um, I was just talking about this in another video, but Sarah Yip, who is one of my favorite numerologists, she's based out of Australia, she was saying to, I was reading one of her blogs, and she was saying, what every person that you meet, picture that they have a sign above their head that says, please make me feel important. Because essentially, that's all anybody wants. And I think that if you stop and, and look at yourself, that's what you want as well. That's what everybody wants. So really kind of going inward like you've been doing um, and not and releasing this fear, this fear, this worry, um, this worry of change, this worry of losing your power, this worry of not being important anymore, especially when it comes to um, you manifesting and transforming into the King of Wands energy. Family and friends are really admiring what you've built. They've really admired what you've built. They've admired what you've worked for. And I think that's where there's some issues um, with the Sages. What I've noticed is love almost has to get the back seat. It kind of has to be pushed to the side because of the responsibilities and the work and the power and the money and the stability. Um, so love is kind of been putting the back seat. But as a Sagittarius, Sagittarius, they can have it all. They're very expansive and they're very lucky. They need to travel. They can't be pinned down by anything, whether it be a relationship, whether it be an employee relationship, whether it be family, they can't be pinned down. So it could be that Sag, you're pushing a relationship to the side because that still gives you that little bit of freedom, that sense of freedom, although you're pinned down by work and family and, you know, um, queen of cups and your reputation and the sphere of money and the sphere of power. When if you would just release and let it all go and say, I can have it all, I can have the freedom plus the commitment, it would create a huge space of relief and, you know, release of tension and you'd be a lot happier in the long run, but it would absolutely be a journey and a process. It wouldn't be an overnight thing. Hope and fear, Sag, is to create that energy. You hope for that energy to just create what you want, to manifest what you want, but you fear it as well because you know it's going to hurt the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords and the King of Pentacles. You're putting everybody else before you, <laughs> which is rare to see a lot, especially, no offense, but for a fire sign, it is rare to read um, a fire sign putting everyone before them because at the end of the day, you got to you gotta uh, fill your cup first, right? I was just watching this old woman who's like 100 years old and they're like, what's your secret? She's like, I only care about me. She's like, I got tons of kids and grandkids, but then the day I put me first, I love me the most. And at first you're kind of like a little bit taken off, like how dare this woman? But after as she's talking, you're like, yeah, that's what they, the whole thing with the, um, with a plane going down. You got to put the mask on yourself first before you could ever help anybody else, right? So Sag, don't be afraid to tap into your energy, into your manifestation energy and your magic and create the world that you want without thinking about all these people it's going to affect. Think about only how it affects you and how happy it's going to make you. And then naturally everybody else will slowly adjust to your happiness or they'll leave because I can't be around somebody so positive and good riddance, right? Okay, so first step, Sag, is to recognize that the Queen of Cups is really hindering um, your King of Wands energy, okay? So this energy, this person, is really affecting your ability to answer this message that's coming in, to answer this question that's coming in with confidence, okay? Queen of Cups. Once you recognize that, you're going to start to see some fairness. You're going to say, okay, has it been fair how this person has been treating me? Has it been fair how I've been treating them? What can I do, when, it, especially when it comes to this question coming in? What can I do in order to rebalance my life and my situation with the Queen of Cups? And what that's going to do, Sag, it's going to create a lot of opportunities for change. You're going to be fighting for change by the end of it. You're going to be dueling out others trying to make that change, trying to, to win, essentially, um, to win when it comes to this question, to win when it comes to life, when, to win when it comes to just feeling balanced again. So, Sag, I hope you guys have an amazing summer, have an awesome July. I will talk to you guys in August. As always, if you want to book a personalized reading with me, please, my email is below, beyondyoursunsign at gmail.com. I include astrology and numerology in all my readings. 
and please comment, like, and subscribe and share. <laughs> Love you guys so much and I'll see you in August. Bye Sag.